Saget's essential oil is not often used in aromatherapy. In fact, I only ever use it for baths uh, or, or any kind of food infections, be it uh, viral, fungal, or uh, bacterial. Saget also can treat bunions and corns. The oil has also mild sedative effect. It can help calm nerves and ease anxiety and panic attacks. And the Gets essential oil is also an in and is an excellent insect repellent. And it will repel flies and mosquitoes. Properties, benefits, and uses. When I look, when I looking at the Target's essential oils from the chemical profile, you can see it's fifty percent ketones and 35% uh, monoterpenes. With 55% ketones, it tells me immediately this is not an everyday oil. Ketones are generally considered to be highly antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, uh, choleric, carminative, mucolytic, lipolytic, sedative, and wound healing. So really good oil, but only to be used on, for a short period of time because um, they can be neurotoxic with prolonged use. So what is the target used for? So um, it's good antifungal at its food for corns and bunions. But as I said, only to be used in small doses because it's highly pathotoxic and you should definitely avoid exposure to the sun for at least 24 hours. Blends, I don't have any blends with, so I usually would really use it for any kind of fungal infection. So be it in the face, be it like anywhere on the body. So it's a it's an oil that's kind of a little bit pungent as well. So what I what you can use it for, like you know, if you have like what you treat like a varts or athlete's foot. So if you add to twenty mil to five drops to five to twenty milliliters of aloe vera gel and then apply directly to the area. So that should actually get rid of the athlete's foot. It's also you can also use it for varts in kind of, for varts. They usually like a viral infection. It's a really good antiviral oil. Now, do you need to have this oil in your uh, kit. If you're massaging lots of feet, then I probably definitely would include that because you know everyone at some point of time had, had some kind of fungal or viral infection on their feet or hands. So uh, it's not a bad oil to have because and like um, you would probably not need it often. So it's a good oil definitely to have, but not easily available. You should only get it like from a, a special specialized aromatherapy uh, supplier. I have it, and as I said, I use it mostly for um, antifungal purposes.